In this edition, I'd like to talk about sound recordings, microphones, and podcasting. Microphones, as we all know, are 20th century technology, yet they never lose their charm and relevance. Recording devices have also come a long way, from this to this and this. Students can relate to a mic because they see it everywhere, at music concerts, in places of worship, in gaming headsets, and quite frankly, anywhere there is an audience. Cameras come with built-in mics, phones and computers too. You could even record audio in chat apps such as WhatsApp. What I like about microphones in education is the ability to get students to create content by practicing at least three of the five E's of learning. The five E's being Excite, Explore, Explain, Elaborate, Evaluate. If you ask students to write a short story in 10 minutes, they would probably stare at the sheet of paper in front of them, not sure where to start. But if you place a microphone in front of two students and ask them to relate a story, you would be amazed how they begin to construct the story. Why does this happen? The technology has a way of turning on our brains and helping us create content. Young people love to tell stories and a podcast, which is another form of digital storytelling, lets them become quite creative. Okay, maybe shy at first, but watch as the engines fire up and they get talking. There are many different types of podcasts, just as there are many types of information and genres of stories. There are information podcasts, conversations and chat shows, book reviews and library podcasts, sports podcasts, student council podcasts, news podcasts, roving reporter podcasts, dramatized stories. So here's a way to create a lesson about podcasting in class. This could in fact take several sessions over a few weeks. Introduce the class to public speaking and debating, a good way to find out students' comfort zones. Practice impromptu sessions on small but exciting topics. Let them pretend it is a talk show. Now introduce a microphone to the mix and continue with these practice runs. This is a good time to show students how we could save their recordings on a computer. Play back some of these recording sessions and start a discussion on what was good and what could have been presented better. When students begin to get comfortable with these practice runs, record a session as if it were a live radio show. You could put up an on-air sign and have students form an audience in front of the podcasters. I like to video the session because the student podcaster could now see how he or she grew comfortable with the topic or see what caused a distraction. Discuss how a basic script, a talking points document if you will, could have helped. You could even extend this into a unit on script writing, on how to introduce a show and introduce a guest, how to create a transition, bring up a new topic and how to close a podcast. The final step is to introduce students to recording software. I recommend the free open source recording application called Audacity. And last but not least, you may want to talk to your class about why knowing their audience is really important when they are creating content or whether it is a podcast or an essay. There is a lot more you could do with podcasting and I recommend getting them to listen to some of the many good podcasts out there on science, on media, or on sports for instance. A podcast is a great way to combine writing and research skills with presentation techniques and storytelling. Using technology and Web 2.0 tools, you could empower students to become impressive content creators.